Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you some basic principles of wire and cables. This particular topic can be discussed in great length, so I will only focus on certain characteristics of wires and cables in this video. Wires and cables are designed to carry electrical current from one point to another. The conductors can either be stranded or solid. The stranded wires offer more flexibility and are less rigid than the solid counterpart of the same size. The more rigid solid core conductors tend to be less expensive and are often used in residential wiring. Stranded wire conductors can be made up of many conductors twisted together in different configurations. Some cables may serve as a conduit with other wires inside that in turn are comprised of groups of stranded wires. Cables also may have a shield or armor surrounding the wires. This is an electrically conductive material designed to prevent EMP, electromagnetic interference or radio frequency interference, as well as to provide an extra level of protection to the wires. Shields can be braided, spiral, or wrapped in a foil. The insulation and the outer jacket of the cable and wires is also an important factor. The types of materials used are usually a thermoplastic or thermoset. A thermoplastic material can soften under heat while the thermoset material could vulcanize when exposed to heat and pressure. The insulation material may also offer a difference of protection. Sizes of wires and cables can vary between region, with the three most popular being the AWG, Imperial, or Metric. In the United States, the AWG, known as the American Wire Gauge System, is the standard. The AWG increases in size as the gauge size gets smaller. For every six gauges in difference, the lower gauge wire is about twice the size and diameter of the higher gauge wire. For example, a 10-gauge wire is twice the diameter of a 16-gauge wire. Wires and cables along with thousands of other products and services are available at Galco.com.